favorite part of the first annual Cummins Repower Cruise? Um, I would have to say meeting all the different people that have done such different things with our engine and getting the feedback directly from them, but actually seeing them, uh, seeing their vehicles, that's been pretty gratifying for me and the team. We worked for a long time to make this happen, uh, so seeing the Vixen RV or seeing the Scout that was with us or the Defender 110 or the CJ7, like all these various uh, applications. That's the whole idea of our program. So seeing it in person and hearing from these people has been uh, probably my favorite part. We're sending in a 1987 Vixen motorhome. I think the uniqueness is is just the basic design. The, uh, the guy that designed it, Bill Collins, was the former chief engineer of DeLorean. So it has a kind of a DeLorean-ish look to it, laid out really well for uh, both traveling on the road and camping uh, off-road even. I have this 1988 Land Rover Defender 110. Black smoke was my mileage with the original motor, which was a junker. It made like 110 horsepower, and so I put this R2.8 in here. Uh, I did the full engine swap in about two and a half weeks. You know, we got this crazy idea to put a 62 Scout on a JK chassis. It's kind of the maiden voyage of this, so uh, it's definitely proven itself. That, awesome, that engine is just awesome. You know, we're pushing 23 to 25 miles a gallon, 410 factory Rubicon axles, electric lockers. My name's Taurus Linning. This is a 1989 Toyota Land Cruiser that I built about a year ago, and I have about 15,000 miles on it with the uh, Cummins R2.8. So it's a 1986 uh, Jeep CJ. I, I originally geared it to 410 with lockers, and then I had when I installed the Cummins R2.8, I had to change that gearing back to 355. So far, I have 4,500 miles on it. I've had absolutely no issues. I'm getting about 24 miles to the gallon around town and about 26 on the highway. Right when I got this car, I started Googling Cummins crate motor. Didn't exist at the time, um, but I signed onto a mailing list and then eventually, like a few months later, Cummins emailed me and said, hey, we're coming out with this crate motor. I thought, hmm. That'd be fun. And that's when it all started. So I bought the motor. When I blew my clutch out, I figured I was like 2% of the way to an engine swap. So I just finished off the last 98. The old engine, with the way we're configured, we have big solar panels on the roof, uh, increased the drag a little bit. We were getting about 24, sometimes 25 miles per gallon on, on diesel. 2.8, the very first trip I took from the, where we had it installed back home to San Diego was uh, over 30 miles per gallon. And on this trip, keeping up with these guys on this cruise, who, and they're generally traveling faster than the speed limit, I must say. We've been getting 28 to 29 miles per gallon pretty consistently. Oh, the Vixen is passing a Ford van. This trip has been uh, incredible. The engine has been absolutely phenomenal. It was a great trip. I, I could not have done this trip with the old engine. So as we wrap Cummins Repower Cruise, I'm just kind of in shock, A, that it's over. You know, we've had 11 days on the road because we left from Columbus, Indiana, uh, to go to the starting line at Idaho Falls. And I'm looking at my odometer and I've got over 4,000 miles uh, on my Land Rover swap now. Seeing everything we saw on this and getting to see it with our customers and going to our different builder shops, it was just awesome. We are going to our final destination of Cummins Repower Cruise 2018, which is the beach. We're in uh, Pismo, California, and we're about to drive all of the vehicles out of the beach, set up a big fire, have a celebratory dinner, and some refreshments, and watch the sunset over the beautiful Pacific Ocean.